welcome to German Auto Works, where in just five weeks, we took a stock M2 to this beast of a race car. We've got seven weeks to complete this project, so if you want to see how we took it from this to this, stay tuned. here in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, turning this M2 road car into a savage race car. Right, here we are in our garage, our workshop for the next seven weeks. Uh, massive thanks to Kel for putting this together for us. Yeah, we've flown out yesterday, uh, a little bit jet lagged, but we're ready to go. We've got everything sorted, so we've sent out a massive pallet from England over to here. Can't get some motorsport parts from BMW Motorsport that we needed out here, so sent it from uh, BMW in UK. Um, we'll go through all of the parts soon, but uh, just first, a look around the car, what we're gonna do. The car is already really well spec. We've got AP racing brakes all round, Olin suspension, which I've never even seen before. Uh, nice rear wing, carbon bits, competition, sunset orange, absolutely lovely. Inside, got pole positions, um, we've got the carbon fibre trims already which are all coming out because we're going to be upgrading them with some real nice stuff. From BMW itself, M235i Racing Carbon Centre Console, I mean this stuff is what dreams are made of and to be able to do projects like this is incredible for us. Uh, door cars as well up there really nice can't wait to get them done but we're not just fitting nice carbon fibre bits we're fitting metal work too we've got a full t45 roll cage already pre-bent and made by sean goslin in the uk we'll link his uh, profile below so it's going to be a case of putting that whole kit together we've got the diagrams we're going to get the welder in um, strip the whole car down it's going to have a cage going to have a differential, we've got a Drexler differential all the way from Heisman Differentials, my good friend in the UK. Um, fire extinguisher system because it's going to be a race car we need it to comply with the regulations. A centerpiece of this build as well is the M2 CS Racing steering wheel which is absolutely lovely. Everyone loves buttons. <laughs> <laughs> We've had Levels Motorsports in the UK build this really nice wiring loom for us. That's all we need to get it all working. So we will be fitting that and that will look epic. Some nice Recaro pieces uh, and some seat mounts to make sure that everything's all good. There's our differential in there. Limited slip differential so these cars actually have an electronic locking diff which is okay but when you want to take it racing or get some really fast times out of your car you need a proper plated limited slip diff. Drexler, top of the game. We only use the best parts. Those of you guys that are new to what we've done, we've actually been here before. And we've got our old project literally sat next to us, which is really nice. It's an E92 M3. Um, we basically came over, just finished a few bits off, took it to the track. nailed it, uh, got set up nice on it. So, oh, yeah. let's, let's go and meet Joel. Where, where's Joel? So, so we call Joel uh, Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is Wonder Boy. And uh, the reason is, because he's absolutely rapid on racing, <laughs> at race tracks. Um, so yeah, when we go to test out the M2, we'll be taking the M3 as well. We're going to be doing some lap comparisons, comparing the cars between each other. Joel is the uh, pro driver of this trip, so he'll be putting in the lap times, putting the car through its paces, and making sure everything is absolutely mint.
Pump the gas, Jay. Out here pumping, pumping gas. So we're driving now in the M2. Uh, we're heading up to Otto, going to see our buddy Eli. And then we're going over to uh, Ultimate Auto Works. Just have a quick look at another car we did last time. But just to uh, drive basically to give everybody an idea of what sort of position the car's in right now. We're running the Oland, Oland suspension. This guy's giving us a thumbs up. Um, yeah, so it's running the Olands, really nice ride, like really nice. Uh, it's top of the range, so you'd expect it, but just drives so nice. Squeaking from the APs. Race car. Race car, like, if you buy AP calipers and you don't like the squeaking, then just get another car. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, no, it just drives nice. Just a comp, M2 comp, you know? You know how it is. Obviously, we've got the restraint systems. This because it's got the pole positions in. The car hasn't been coded yet. We'll sort all that out. You won't get any of these nasty messages. Uh, we might not even run the iDrive in the end. We're still undecided whether we're going to run that screen or not. But yeah, it's pretty nice. You love it, isn't it? Uh, Otto Car Club um, so this is where we actually done our first job out here in Arizona obviously it's an absolute madness um, it's run by Eli Kogan really nice guy uh, really really knowledgeable his whole team is so professional you get such a good service here um, they also have a works as well so they do like racing there's quite a few storage race cars here they have a separate workshop they've just opened where they do everything from build to maintaining to taking to the track um, yeah we'll see if we can get in there at another point but this is absolutely incredible when i first came here it blew my mind and i bet it blows yours as well To have a look at a car that we actually worked on last time the M4 it's just having a little bit of an issue with running they're doing like one to two laps and things going into limp mode so we brought down the magic computer uh, we're gonna head in there now and see what we can do hopefully we can fix it and it's racing on Saturday and also I had a sneaky suspicion that Wonder Boy might be getting a little go <laughs> <laughs> Up, she'll be sweet. All right, so we're back at the shop now and we're into the strip down stage. Basically, we're just going to get everything out from the interior, all the trims, all the control units. Then we'll actually get the wiring loom out. Tomorrow, we'll start removing the glass, the roof, ready for next week when we're going to be welding in the cage.
that's a wrap for day one. Uh, we're all pretty jet lagged. So um, we made a good dent in the car today. We pretty much stripped the whole interior out um, from the back end. Doors are off, boot lids off. It's looking kind of nice. You can kind of see, get a little bit of a film for what it's gonna look like with it all stripped out. Obviously a lot less control units in there, a lot less wiring. We're actually gonna be taking this whole parcel shelf out so that when you look in from the back, you'll see all of that lovely roll cage painted in the sunset orange, which is gonna look really nice. We also went out today and sorted out all of our tools, which is really good because we can just start with everything we needed. Um, Kel provided this lovely toolbox. We've got some Halfords bit, good old Brighty. Um, we've got some snap-on stuff, spanners, screwdrivers, a bit of green in there because we, we love a bit of green. Um, yeah, so it's been good today, uh, but we're absolutely shattered. Hello? Is there a car in here? Day two of the build today, turned up early morning. Uh, last night we left here with the car semi-stripped, uh, stripped out all the trims in the, the back of the car. Today, focusing on getting the glazing and the roof off the car, which will help us with a lot more mobility moving around, being able to get the dash out. It's much easier with all the, the glazing out. We've got Wonder Boy up here doing all the taping, uh, doing a really good job. But yeah, let's jump in. We got the roof off. Great success. That is day two finished. Um, it's been a really hard day today, to be fair. We're really suffering from the jet lag, but I think tomorrow's gonna be all right. Still productive day. 
Um, as you can see from the car, it's looking really stripped out. We've got the roof off, got all the glass out, We've nearly finished. Nearly finished with the interior, so we've just got the dash to come out uh, and then the, the carpet. But uh, yeah, really, really productive day. We're really happy with the progress. We're on track. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for uh, episode two. Hopefully you enjoyed the first episode. Obviously this is the first time we've done something quite like this. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave some comments below. Cheers.